All right, so last week we got these binders, good proper binder from the school. You should get one for free. If you haven't got one, we'll get you one of those right away. Just come and talk to me. But what you can do with these binders, now this would be really boring because it's just somebody's schedule, but you can slide in pieces of paper. And what that does is it disambiguates, which means just tells the difference between whose binders is who. So these you can slide in pieces of paper. What if we designed something that was kind of cool looking with our name very large and clear, our school name, the one that's official, so we know, so if a teacher finds it, they know who you are, not a nickname. But we have our name clearly printed on it, and then you can put, add a few things that you like on there, and we'll print them out for you, and then slide them into the cover of our binder. So then you'll have a binder that is easy for you to tell who's a who because when everybody in the school has exactly the same brand and type of binder with the same dividers, it's really easy to grab one that doesn't belong to you by mistake, even if you're not trying to. So that's what we're going to do here today in this assignment. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to type in docs.google.com. You could also find this through the G Suite. So we're on Google Documents, or you can go to Google Drive, drive.google.com. You can do this same thing. And we're just going to look here at, um, and yeah, so sorry about that. Um, we're going to click blank to get started. And this will start us off with a new document. Okay, great. So go up here at the top and first just start, start off by putting uh, your name, First and last, like just please use your school name and not nicknames that I wouldn't know, you know, it kind of helps me, especially because I'm new with some of you for the beginning of the year. Jeremy Woodchick binder cover sheet. So whatever your name is in binder cover sheet. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves by putting fun stuff on there before we take care of the basics. And the basics are this needs to identify whose binder it is. Okay. So what you're going to do is I'm going to start off by just typing in my name. And you can move things above or below this later, but let's not forget the main point. Jeremy Woodchick. Things tend to look better centered, so I'm going to center that. I'm going to double click it. That's way too small. We need it to stand out. And I'm going to click up here. See these plus increase font size? The minus decreases font size. Or you can just type in what font size you want or click on one of these. So I'll start off by making it way bigger. Mm, not big enough. I Now, if I want it to go one line, you can just keep plus until it gets big. See if I want one line or two. That looks pretty good. You know what? I got lots of space on here. I'm going to actually make this until Woodchick actually doesn't fit. Now, it's up to you how you like it to look. Oh, see, that's no good. So my limit was 98 point font. Okay, cool, I got that. Oh, I should have, I screwed up. We should choose your font first, my bad. We'll do it backwards, but that's okay. So you go up here and you can go and find other fonts. I, I, always, I like impact a lot, but you might, after it changes, you might have to adjust this because it may not fit. Okay, so impact, you know, there's a lot of other ones up here and some of them have different versions. So like, for example, uh, Laura, you can have normal Laura. You can have medium, see how it thickens up a bit when it's medium instead of normal. And you can have semi bold and bold just means it really thick letters. It really stands out. It's bold, easy to recognize. You know, I'm going to go back. I really like this one. There's other stuff you can do as well. Uh, not there, sorry. There's other text effects that you can do. And I'll let you guys play around. Most of you guys know how to do those. But we've got the basics here, right? So I've got this, Jeremy Woodchick. Now what we can do is we can add some pictures that represent us. Or some, maybe you have a famous quote. Maybe there's a quote that you like that really inspires you to do better in life or whatever. So we can put quotes on there from famous people. We could put a big, large picture. If you know how to use tables, which you do now because we've done the uh, icebreaker poster assignment, you can put a, a multi-part table to put more than one picture. 
What I think I'm gonna do for mine, and again, yours can be different, is I'm gonna insert a table that's gonna put a two by two. So I want four little pictures here. And you can see we're gonna to have to adjust it, aren't we? So I'm gonna de delete that, get rid of that space. And I'm gonna drag this down just like we did in our other assignment. I don't, I'm gonna go as far as we can without going to the next page. Oh, too much. So let's undo control Z or just go up here and go to back. It undoes it. And then you're gonna grab these. I want my pictures to be about the same size, each box. So I'm gonna highlight them all, right click and distribute rows. There we go, now they're pretty even. Um, I may go back later and squeeze a small quote at the top. So let's do that now so I don't screw it up too bad. I wanna have a quote by someone that, you know, some, some awesome quote. So I'm gonna go back and change this to something smaller, like let's say 20 point. And then I'll have to readjust this. So you can see, now it looks like the teacher's like, oh, he's changing his mind, doesn't know what he's doing. I hate to say this, but th this is the way design works for me anyways. I try things out, I add it, I have to tweak, I have to adjust. So don't worry if you have to, if you don't get it right exactly the first time. The way that you see if things look are gonna look good is you don't, you don't imagine it all before you start. You get a kind of an idea, throw it out there, and then you go, mm, that's not quite what I want. And then you can revise it, so change it around a bit. So now I've got room for maybe a small quote right at the top. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find some pictures on the internet just like we did in our previous assignment. So, um, you know, I'm again, you don't have to copy my stuff, of course. I want your things that you're into or cool pictures that you like or whatever. But I'm just going to go and I'm going to put uh, mountain bike because I really like mountain bikes. And let's see some of the images for that. Probably going to get a lot of just bikes. I want to have somebody riding mountain bikes. That's a pretty cool picture. I like this one. A little small, but I think I don't have much space. It's just a small box. So I'm going to uh, right click and uh, copy the image after I click on it. And then we'll go in here. I'll right click and I'm going to paste the image. Uh oh, got too big. So let's let's scrunch it down until our until it looks good again. Yep, that's still all in one page, but those are a little uneven. And what we can do too is I'd recommend centering these. I'm gonna center mine. So there we go, centered in the first box. All right. And if you want to, this is your thing, so you don't have to do it in any per personal way. What you do need is a very large name that's your school name that's in the school computer that we can all recognize because the whole point of it is to find out whose binder it is. We can't get lost in the fun stuff before we get the basics down. I feel like I can make that bigger. No, it keeps sizing up the box. Oh, you know why? I've got that massive font in here. And when I, when it, and, it, and it makes it a, whoops. So I'm gonna change the font in here to something way smaller so it doesn't make the box too crazy. There we go, that's better. Now we can do it without destroying the box size. Perfect. And so now I'm gonna just pause and um, you don't need to watch me finding the other ones. I'll just show you here in a second. Okay, and just like that, through the magic of pause and unpause, we are back and I'm done with my four pictures. Mountain bike, a road biker from the internet, a picture of me when I was at the bike park and my favorite game, League of Legends. So now what I'm gonna do, and again, you don't have to do it like I do. You can put your pictures at the top or wherever you want. I'm gonna actually include a quote also. So I'm gonna go find that. Okay, so I found my quote. Today is gonna to be epic. That's like one of my favorite mountain bikers. Sam Pilgrim says that all the time at the beginning of his videos. Uh, today is gonna to be epic. So I'm gonna type that up here. Quote, today is gonna be epic. I'm gonna put epic in capitals, right? You know what, now I see this, I need two lines for this, which is gonna screw everything up. So you know what I'm gonna do? Another thing you can do is you can make the, the text a little smaller and then that fixes it also. I feel like that's a little bit too, I want the name a little smaller. There we go. 
So now I, my sheet is all done. Now I need to turn it in to Mr. Woodchick. So just like the previous assignment we did, we have to go up to share. If you give me the link right now, I can't even see it because they don't give me access. You have to go here and change it from restricted to either school district or anyone with the link. Then we're going to copy the link. Okay, I'll be back. So, okay, so now, now that you're all done with it and you've copied the link, you're gonna go to the assignment. Oh. Start the assignment, and then paste your website URL. That's just a web link, which is what you got. Paste it, and then you're gonna submit it. Now, after this, what I do is when I go through and correct it, I will down, I will uh, print those off for you. It, and you have to make sure you've sh made it viewable by anyone with the link or Yakima School District. Then I can see it. Then send me the web link. Without making it shareable and so I can see it first, doesn't help you a whole lot. Okay? So, hey, thanks, everybody. And I appreciate you guys doing this. And this will make our binders look way better and way cooler. And we'll know who the heck they belong to. All right, have a great day.